Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and being glad in it. Good morning, Palestine United Methodist Church. Good morning, Facebook Live World. It's a good day to be alive. What you mean by that, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. That means that while the blood is still running warm in your body, you still got another chance and another opportunity to get it right. Amen. God is a good God. He's waiting on you. Not going to be long this morning, but this day is monumental to us hey, here at Palestine United Methodist Church. Uh, not only is this All Saints Sunday, it's also the Sunday, the first Sunday officially that we are beginning to gather back here as a congregation in the church. Amen? Amen. Ain't God all right? Amen. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're still going to follow CDC guidelines. We're still going to mask up. We're checking temperatures, keeping doors open. We're not handling our hymnals right now. Uh, when we do handle them, we're going to make sure that the person where you are handle the same hymnal the next week that we're here. Amen. Amen. We don't want everybody switching up hymnals. So the one that you do handle, make sure you place it in the spot that you're going to sit if you come the next time Amen. and use that same hymnal. Amen. Amen. We're still trying to get everything right here. Amen. So you look over everything that's going on. Everything is going to work out in the end. Amen. 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 So today is All Saints Sunday. Amen. Amen. And that is we can remember not only all of those that we have lost during this past year, this year and a half, this two years to this pandemic and everything, but we also remember all the saints that have come and blazed the path for us. Amen. That we can follow them mentors and men and women of God who have stood in the gap for us over the years. This is a day that we thank God for those saints. Thank God because one day we all shall meet again. Amen. 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 So today is All Saints Sunday. Amen. And we're going to praise God for those that have gone on. We're praising God for all those members here at Palestine United Methodist Church who fought the good fight of faith and have gone on to the heavenly realm. We will see them again. Also, today, uh, we're just thanking God. Like I said, this is our first time coming back as a congregation officially, and we're going to do communion in the end. So it's a good day. Yes, man. It's a good day. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said, let us go unto the house of the Lord. So first, I'm going to read scripture, and then... I'm going to give my topic, and then I'm going to pray. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, the scripture this morning is coming from Psalm, the vision of Psalm 146. Psalm 146. Amen. Uh, we will be reading all 10 verses of it. Amen. And after that, I will pray, and then we will hear a word from the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's good to see all your faces this morning that I haven't Amen. seen in a minute. Amen. And we thanking God today also for Mother Bernice Spurgeon. Amen. 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 She turned a hundred years old yesterday. Amen. 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 God said, teach us the number of our days. Amen. Amen. And as the conversation went with her yesterday and her family, She's not on any kind of medication. Amen. Come on now, then. we ought to shout about that. How many of us can say we're not on any type of medication? Amen. 
Happy We're birthday. not even a hundred year old. Man. Happy Amen. birthday, Mother Spurgeon. Amen. And I haven't been to the woodshed. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Psalm 146, verses 1 through 10. And it reads, Praise the Lord. Amen. Right. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> All right. Because right now, we ought to be giving God some praise. Amen. Amen. Right now is the time that we ought to praise God. We, we shouldn't have to go in this world because ain't even been good to him. He brought us back to this word to praise one more time. Amen. And we can say thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Do not put your trust in princes, nor in a son of man, Amen. in whom there is no help. His spirit departs. He returns to his earth. In that very day, his plans perish. Mm -hmm. Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, Amen. who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps truth forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. Yes. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. Yes. The Lord raises those who are bowed down. Yes. The Lord loves the righteous. Amen. The Lord watches over the stranger. Yes. He relieves the fatherless and the widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. Amen. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations, praise the Lord. Praise amen, the Lord. Amen. 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 amen and amen. amen. Right now, I want to know everyone this morning, tell everyone, I will be preaching with a thought, who are you trusting? Who are you trusting? Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, yes. Lord God, we love you, Lord. Yeah. And we desire that our trust remain in you alone. Yes. Lord, we want to trust in you in every area of our lives. Yes. And we pray that our trust in you enters into every part of our being. Yes. Lord, we want to trust you in all things so that nothing touches our life that does not have you right there with us. Lord, help us to trust you. Yeah. Help us, Lord, yes, Lord, to trust you for all that we need, yeah. our daily needs, yes. and our spiritual needs. Yeah. Lord, we want to rely on you and you alone yeah. and not put our trust in our own prayer and foolish abilities. Yeah. For without you, we can do nothing. But we can do all things through Jesus Christ who gives us the strength. Yes. Yes. May nothing in heaven and on earth and under the earth mm -hmm. uproot your position in our life. Yes. Lord, we pray. Right Lord, we pray that we trust you. Yes. Lord, we want to trust you in every situation. Yes. We want to trust you in every season of our life. Yes. For you have promised to take all things whether good or evil, mm -hmm. and used together for good, not only for my good and the good of others, but also that your name yes. may be glorified through it. Yes. Lord Jesus, we love you, yes. and we trust you, yes. and our hope is founded in you alone. Yes. You are our God. Yes. You are our Savior, yes. and we praise your holy name. Yes. Lord, right now, Touch all the sick and shut in. Yeah. All the grieved families. Yeah. Everyone that said they know you and everyone that don't know you and everyone that said they know you and act like they don't know you. Yeah. Lord, we ask you to remove right now anything that's in us all, Lord, yeah. that's trying to hold us back from knowing you in the part of our sin. Yeah. Lord, let us be able to trust your word, Lord. Let us be able to know that through Jesus, we all have another chance and another opportunity to trust whatever is going on in our lives. Yeah. 
And it is his name, Jesus' name, that we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Who are you trusting this morning? Amen. 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 Me, myself, I, I'm a, a big fan of the songs. The songs speak to you where you live. Yes. The songs help you to learn. Mm -hmm. The songs help you to grow. The Psalms help you to know God better. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are many themes in the Psalms, but many of them we find Christ often. We find tributes to God's word. Mm -hmm. We find trust mm -hmm. in the Psalms. Yes. Mm -hmm. We find godly living, ways of godly living in the Psalms. And I challenge any of you to write your own Psalms. Mm -hmm. Amen. One of the greatest themes in the Psalms is the one that of praise, worship, and adoration. Yes. The last five divisions of the Psalms, Psalm 146 to 150, they are known as the Hallelujah Psalms. Right. They are called this because they begin and end with the word Hallelujah. Wait a minute now, I'm going to get you right on that. See, in the New King James Version of Scripture, those words are translated, praise the Lord. Amen. Because they begin and end with the Hebrew word, hallelujah, they are called the hallelujah songs. One of the purpose of a sermon is to give reminders. Although we may know something in our heads, having been taught it many times, having heard it many times, we often need reminders to our hearts. Our hearts need to be reminded to practice the truth that we have learned. Right. Psalm 146, the first of the Hallelujah Psalms, reminds us first to praise the Lord. Right. Come on, somebody. We ought to praise Him right here, right now. Yeah. Just because he brought us from a mighty long way. Just because even though the pandemic went through here and it's still here, we still here. Even though you may have had the pandemic, the coronavirus, you still here. You able to lift up them holy hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I'm going to give you the praises that you deserve. We need to take a praise break right now, right here, right here this day, and give the Lord some praise. Come on, the Lord has invited you to praise his holy name. Come on and give the Lord some praises right here, right now. Praise him. Did he bring you last night? Did he wake you up this morning? Started you on your way? Brought you right here once again? We don't know what you all been through this last year and a half. But I, if you've been through like me, there was anxiety. There was anxiousness. There was a worry. There was something always trying to pull you back out of your walk. But God. Praise God this morning. Yes. Psalm 146 start out with praise ye the Lord. Yes. It's personal. I, I, I can't tell you what I'm praising God for, right. but you can tell God what you're praising yes. him for. Right. Amen. 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 So, so the psalm reminds us this morning to praise ye the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise him. Mm -hmm. Because we here at Palestine United Methodist Church we got something to praise God yes, for. Yes. So I ask you again, Amen. who are you trusting this morning? Amen. Thank you. Psalm 146 says, praise the Lord. The first thing is Amen. in there. Mm -hmm. And then I just want to talk just a little while this morning on verse 3. All right. Do not put your trust in princes. Come on, Look what it said, man. Mm -hmm. Nor in a son of man All right. in whom there is no help. All right. Who or what have you placed over God as priority in your life today? Come on. During this pandemic, who were you trusting? Yeah. Were you trusting what the what the president said? Come on, were you trusting what his Advisor said, mm -hmm. 
Was you trusting what the doctor said? Who are you trusting during this pandemic? Who are you trusting this morning? Yeah. We are told here not to put our trust in people. And you know that we can change powerful people. See, a lot of times there are people a step ahead of us, influential in our life, got money in high places. And, huh, the, and, and, and can pull strings for you. Yeah. And, and, and you will trust them more than you will trust God. Right. But the words that do not put your trust in them people. Right. There is no help for us there. God is the only true source of our help. Yeah. Right. Look, look, look. Man was created by God. Yeah. And guess what? He is powerless yeah. according to the word of God. Yeah. Man lacks the ability to offer the help in which he himself stands in need of. Yes. I, I can't offer you the help that you need because I stand in need of the same help. Yes. See, I, me, I'm a man of my word. Come on now. now, I can tell you, uh, 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 Brother Rick, I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. and, and I have every intention on being there. But supposedly I be in a car accident. Or suppose my wife get deathly, earthly sick, or my son in a in a wreck, or something happen, and I have to go down to them. I don't left bro Ricky hanging. All right. See, even at my best, I can still leave you hanging. Amen. But God will never leave you nor forsake you. What man can offer you is temporary help. Yes. See, but eternal help comes from God. Yes. Therefore, we should be very careful of how we praise creation, praise man, and not the creator. It starts off and tells us, praise ye the Lord. Yes. Oh, somebody going to praise him for we leave yes. him a day. The only one worthy of our praise is the Lord our God. He is the only one who is able to redeem us. He is the only one who is able to save us. He is the only one who is able to set us free. See, if I was a criminal now here sitting on death row, God could allow me to walk straight out of death row. See, somebody missed it. Yes, Lord. I could still be executed by man, but through God, I could be to walk straight off a of death row. Amen. See, there is repentance in everything that we do. See, when your mind is set on the things up above, then that should be a change in your heart. Right. That should be a change in your living. Yes. There should be a change in the thing that come out of your mouth. Right. Now you shouldn't be talking to me any kind of every kind of way. Right. And, 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 and talk about you a child of the king. Right. And that's just how I am. Right. Well, baby, you just don't wake, wake up how you are in hell one day. Right. We are told in scripture that the life of man is short lived. Yeah. We hear today they used to say and gone tomorrow, but that has changed. Yes. It's here today and gone today. So we should be trusting God, not man today. Amen. Amen. James 4 and 14 says, you do not know about what may happen in your life tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You are just merely a vapor. Yeah. You are just like a puff of smoke. You are like a wisp of steam. You, you see that steam come out from the cooking pot? Mm -hmm. That's just visible for a little while. Mm -hmm. Then it vanishes. Mm -hmm. It's gone and thin out. Mm -hmm. That's the way life is now. Yes. Lord Jesus. But see, on the other hand, God is from everlasting to everlasting. To everlasting. Come on. Yeah. All right. God mm -hmm. promises a truth. Yeah. And get this. He will do just what he said he would do. Amen. If he said he's going to be there tomorrow, brother Ricky, Amen. no matter what happened and, and going on, he's going to be there. Amen. And if you want to experience everlasting hope, 
If you want to experience everlasting salvation, if you want to experience God's everlasting presence, if you want God to be operating in your life right now, you need to put your trust in him alone. Amen. Right now. Amen. For man will go back to the dust. Amen. We are here just for a short time Amen. on earth. God is from everlasting to everlasting. Yes, Who are you trusting this morning? Jesus. Are we trusting God for our new sanctuary? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we trusting God for God to already done moved? He just waiting on us. Yes. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. See, we need to call upon the name of the Lord today. Yes. God promised to hear. God promised to, to answer our prayer. Yes. Psalm 116 and 4, listen, said, Then mm -hmm. I called on the name of the Lord. Yes. Lord, save me. And he did just what he do. Believe it or not, even at our best, we will still experience disappointment. Yes. Yes. Even at our best, we will still experience failures. Amen. Even at our best, we will still get angry at someone. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on now. All right. But the words that get angry, but sin not. Sin not. Yes, Lord. Thank you. All of man's promises are short-lived. Mm -hmm. Who are you trusting? The call today from the scripture, God is betting me, us to trust in him. Mm -hmm. He's saying trust in him with all our heart. And lean not to your own understanding, but in all our ways. Acknowledge him. Not GPS. Acknowledge him. And he will direct our path. Woe to the man, woe to the woman who look to man and look away from God. Yeah. God is declaring today to us, regardless of what we find ourselves on today, yeah. regardless where we are, if we place our trust in him alone, yeah. his grace is sufficient for each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. As I look around this world, I can see things going on that we as man have no control over. Amen. But we think we do. There's so much going on. All you got to do is look. You see tragedy after tragedy. Stuff going on that you would say, man, that was dumb. But you don't know what thought that person had that was in that situation. Mm -hmm. For instance, the young man from Alabama football team that was driving down the freeway mm -hmm. last week. Just signed a what? Five, ten million dollar contract. Going down the road running almost 160 miles out. Mm -hmm. Intoxicated. Mm -hmm. Involved in an accident. Mm -hmm. And caused the life of another person. Mm -hmm. Got plenty of money. Fine cars and everything. But now, what do we have? I've been praying for that young man that he trusted in God. Amen. Amen. We all make mistakes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all have done dumb things in our life. Come on now. Amen. We all haven't been saved all our life. I pray that that young man know Jesus in the pardon of his sin. Amen. Because right now, that's who he needs to know. Yes. Because he has caused a, a senseless accident, caused a life with his senselessness. But God, Amen. but God, God is beckoning also to that young man. He's offering him everlasting life. 
through Jesus Christ. And I pray that he has faith. I want to ask you this morning, where is your faith today? Do you have faith enough to say in the coming months, in the coming time, that we're going to be in a new sanctuary? Yes, Thank you. Yes, sir. Who have you purposed in your heart to trust this day for? Yes, sir. I pray that you don't make the wrong choice, the wrong decision like that young man did. I pray that you choose not to trust in man. I pray that you trusting in God this morning yeah. because I'm here to tell you, I'm getting ready to close in a minute, that if you're choosing man, it's a hopeless situation. Well. If you're choosing man, it's a, it's a situation that will leave you empty. Yes, well. Thank you. If you choose man, it's a, it's a situation that will leave you hopeless. If you choose man over God, it's a situation that will leave you forever hungry. Yes. Well, thank you. you will be forever thirsty and you will never be satisfied. Yes. You don't believe it? Look around. All right. People everywhere have more things, they got more money, they got possession, they got titles, they got degrees, they got more riches than they ever had and they miserable. Because they don't know God. Many of the things we are seeking today pull us away from God. Many of the things that we think will, we get, will give us peace is making us insecure right now. As believers, we need to know that we just sojourners here. As believers, we, we need to know, just like my grandmother said, we just passing through. Yeah. As believers, we know need to know that earth is temporary. Yeah. We need to know that this place right now is a time of preparation. Yeah. It's a time that we should be getting ready for eternity. Uh huh. When I say eternity, you need to know there's two places you can go eternal. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. I heard a preacher say that it's a place where they got big heaters at, mm -hmm. and it's a place where there's air conditioning all the time. Right. He goes on to say that the big heaters is a place where they're torment. Yes. Say it's so hot you don't burn up. You just be wishing that you could die. Right, but you don't die. Right. And then the place where the air condition is, they said the streets are paved with gold. Yeah. They said the saints of God sit around the throne room and sing all day long. Sister Irvine, I know you are like a place like that. I can hear you saying it right now. It's going to be all right. Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Around the throne of God. Who are you trusting this morning? What place have you made up your mind to go? Yeah. The choice is yours. Yes. Who are you going to believe? Yes. Who are you going to trust? Who are you going to follow from this day forward? Yes, no. As I close this morning, Jesus. today will be the first day we have partaken our communion in a while. Amen. And we thank God for the opportunity to be able to take our communion today. Amen. Amen. But when you take this communion, take it trusting God. Yes. Take it trusting and believing in God just what he said he's going to do. Yes. Because I stand here today, I urge to you, I, I plead to you to know that the world and all in it is passing away. Yes. Don't be deceived. I want you to know what eternity will look like if you reject God. It will look like big heathen. They said the words eat you up all day. Who are you trusting this morning? And I can guarantee those who hope is the Lord, you will not be disappointed. My grandmother 
use that word hope as an action verb. Mm -hmm. Hope is an action verb. It, it, it shows trust. My grandmother used to tell me, Maurice, come in here and hope me move this. <laughs> in order to do that, I had to go in there and I had to put out something. Mm -hmm. Are you putting out your faith today and your hope and trust in God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As I told, remember the psalmist cautioned us against making any man the object of our praise. Make America great again. We are told that man lacks the ability to help. But God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, of all we could act or think according to the, get this last part now, power that works in us. Right. What's working in you this morning? Little power or big power? Right. Where have you placed your trust today? Amen. I thank God that we're here today again. I thank God that we were able to come back and I thank God that we were able to start off this service Amen. with praise. Yes. Yeah. And the Bible said that those of us are happy Whose help is in the Lord. Yes. Are you happy this morning? Yes. Are you happy knowing that we're going to get a new sanctuary? Yes. Are you happy to know that God brought you through this pandemic? Are you happy this morning to know that God brought your family through this yes. pandemic? Are you happy to know this morning that God has went before you and prepared a place for you? Are you happy this morning to know that you got a mansion yes. waiting on you up yes. in heaven? I thank God for Jesus this morning. I thank God that he is the head of my life. Now, remember what I told you. Joe, you can quit. Trans be enough to tell the, the, the congregation, our Facebook Live world, I love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. 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 And amen. amen.